DDR4, DDR5, DDR3 RAM, what do they actually mean and which is actually better? Last time we talked about DIMM and SODIMM and still in this topic of memory, today we talk about different generations of RAM, hence the names with the numbers at the end. What's up people, I'm Milan and welcome back to Fuzite. So as I said, the DDR type naming represents the different generations of RAM. DDR in itself is an acronym for double data rate. So the first generation was known as DDR or DDR1. It was released in 2000, had a voltage of 2.5 volts and a bandwidth of 3.2 gigabits per second. The next generation, DDR2, which was released in 2003 and had a lower voltage of 1.8 volts and an increased bandwidth of 8.5 gigabits per second. But just like most technology released in the early 2000s, DDR1 and DDR2 are not available currently because, well let's just say that they were, up, they were outdated. Fast forward to 2007, DDR3 RAM was released with a much lower voltage of 1.3 volts and a bandwidth of 17 gigabits per second, which is double the speeds of its predecessor. Then again, 7 years later in 2014, DDR4 was released with a voltage of 1.2 volts and a bandwidth of 25.6 gigabits per second. Finally, we have DDR5, which was released recently in 2020 with a voltage of 1.1 volts and speeds of 32 gigabits per second. Since it was just recently released, it's not the most common, but soon it will be heading there. Now that you know the order of release, what are the main differences between the three RAMs? Starting with power consumption. In general, a lower power consumption will mean better in most cases. But as you can see, comparing the three RAMs, DDR3 uses 1.3 volts, DDR4 uses 1.2 volts, and DDR5 uses 1.1 volts. So DDR5 is more efficient as it operates at a lower voltage as compared to the others. The low, the low power consumption gives substantial power savings and allows operation at higher speeds without higher power and cooling requirements. So that's why DDR5 is better than the rest in terms of power consumption. Next on, with memory capacity, the higher memory capacity is generally better. DDR3 has a maximum of 8 gigabits per die. Now considering that there is a maximum of 16 dies in a RAM, in a RAM stick, when you multiply 8 by 16, you get 128 gigabits. Then you convert it to gigabytes, which gets you a maximum of 16 gigabytes per RAM per DDR3 stick. With DDR4, it has up to 16 gigabits per die. Multiplying it by the 16 chips in a stick, you get to 56 gigabits. Convert it to gigabytes, it becomes 32 gigabytes. Hence, a maximum of 32 gigabytes of RAM per DDR4 stick. With DDR5 RAM, it has up to 64 gigabits per die. Multiplied by 16, you get 1024 gigabits. Which, when converted to gigabytes, you get 128 gigabytes per DDR stick, per DDR5 stick. With this data, we can see that DDR4 RAM has a capacity that's twice of DDR3, while DDR5 has a capacity that quadruples that of DDR4. Hence, making DDR5 superior in terms of memory density. Memory bandwidth is basically the speed of the RAM, and it's measured in gigabits per second. And also in this case, the more memory bandwidth you have, the better. DDR3 has a maximum bandwidth of 1.6 gigabits per pin. DDR4 on the other hand has a maximum bandwidth of 3.2 gigabits per pin. Then finally, DDR5 has a maximum bandwidth of 6.4 gigabits per pin. Multiply the numbers by 8 and you'll get it per module. Also, looking at the frequency of the modules, DDR3 module has a clock rate of 400 to 1066 MHz. Compared to DDR4, with a module, module with a clock rate of 800 to 1600 MHz compared to DDR5 with a clock rate of 2400 to 3600 MHz. All these numbers just show that DDR5 is faster than DDR4, which is faster than DDR3. Otherwise, there are other differences, but these are the three key differences of the three generations of memory. Another question that you may ask is that how can you use the three different RAMs interchangeably? And the answer is no. Each generation is different from the other. One cannot fit in place of another, as even the key slots are in different places. The pin sizes are different and also the arrangement of the pins are different. So you cannot fit a DDR3 RAM in a DDR4 slot and uh, yes, no DDR type can fit into another slot. So to check the type of RAM that you have, you can use Crucial System Scanner, which I leave linked down below and also a short explaining it how to use it if you need instructions anyways that's all for today and i hope you learned something new for any questions related to the video you can leave them down below and also don't forget to like and subscribe i'm milan and this is fuzitech see you next time for more tech related videos peace
What's your name? My name is Tom. 